<laughs> All right, uh, in the meantime, our Channel 3 Early Warning Radar Scan in the State Dry. Look at the visibility. All right, so Willimantic, we get a little problem there. Yeah, a little bit of some fog in Willimantic. Nothing to be uh, concerned about, though. About two miles of visibility. It could be worse, but for the most part, uh, our, uh, our visibilities are good across the state. Yeah. Gorgeous morning. Gorgeous, gorgeous morning. All right, uh, now talk to us about this map, Allie. So the Storm Prediction Center right now has us with uh, no thunderstorms today. Which a is nice just great. nice Monday. I know you're planning to play golf today, so yes. nice weather for you uh, outside. Well, but I don't know if you call it playing golf. I'm just going to attempt to swing the clubs and you see know. if I can hit the ball. Now, this is tomorrow. Tomorrow's a bit different of a story. We have a storm system moving through that's going to produce some heavy rain. If it tracks a little bit to our north, we're going to see some more severe weather and storms. If it's just a little bit to our south, we're going to get more rainfall. So. Well, I'm hoping it goes a little bit further to the south. Me too. Yeah, because tomorrow's not looking like a great day, according no. to early morning future cast. In the meantime, it is a nice start, mostly sunny and warm. Tomorrow looks wet. Uh, mm -hmm. If anything, we're certainly going to get some downpours. So if you haven't watered that lawn, or we're going to get some beneficial rainfall around here, but we don't need a whole bunch of rain in a very short period of time, and that's what it looks like it could happen. There could be some poor drainage flooding, some flash flooding, the whole nine yards with these storms. Yes. Not good. All right, temperatures out there this morning, good. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous morning out there. Look at these numbers in the mid 50s. We're talking about 54, 55 yeah. in Torrington. These numbers are below average. The typical overnight low is 62. The record 47 set back in 2006. We're not going to get there, yeah. but we are dealing with some really lovely numbers. And the dew point's very comfortable, right? Very comfortable outside. So yes. the, on the comfort index, where are we? We're uncomfortable. We are uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. That's right. Uh, the winds are calm. Not a lot of wind out there. And uh, as we take a look at the day ahead, temperatures should rise into the mid 80s under partly to mostly sunny skies. Yeah. What about for the shoreline? Shoreline temperatures will rise into the low 80s with some fair weather clouds in uh, the afternoon. But overall, nice sun. If you're taking a day off to go to the beach, nice weather. Oh, it's going to be just gorgeous out there. All right, speaking of uh, uh, our uh, gorgeous weather, let's take a look at Waterbury. Good morning to you. Things are looking really good out there. Look at this skyline. Oh, gorgeous. Look at this skyline in New Haven. Absolutely gorgeous out there with bright golden sunshine. Come on in. We're going to get you a little practice here. Uh, Middletown, look at this. Equally as nice. Beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at the Connecticut Beautiful. River, how tranquil it is out there this morning. And as we take a look at our regional radar, not a whole lot going on out nope, there this morning. not a lot. And that's good. That's really good. Yes. Now, as we take out satellite and radar, I mean, you're hard-pressed to find even a cloud out there. Right? Oh, yeah. All right, so pinpoint for us the storm that's going to be making its right. way in. So right now the storm is right here, and it's going to be moving its way across the <laughs> states and into Connecticut tomorrow. All right, so. so this is the storm system that could potentially bring us the threat for severe weather. It's going to track hopefully a little bit further to the south of Connecticut, but uh, some of the models have it indicating it could track a little bit further north. Let's see who can name the most states. Who can name the most states? Who, I know you're a little challenged. <laughs> uh, we so only have 30 Alex. seconds, yeah, unfortunately. I don't know how many I can name in 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, Kentucky. <laughs> Just throw one out. New York. There we go. Uh, future cast, <laughs> tomorrow's weather today, showing us coming into the frame, okay. showing us an hour-by-hour -hour depiction of not a whole lot going on during not the day lots. today. But nope. watch what happens. Overnight tonight, Allie, we bring in some clouds. Yes. And then what happens tomorrow? Tomorrow, the storms and the rain start to come. So mid-afternoon, I'm going to move out of the way just a little bit. We see some storms in eastern Con or western Connecticut, and they will move in. That purple there, that's not good. Heavy rainfall, gusty winds are possible with that. Ugh. That purple continues, which is not good news. This is not good news, folks. This is tomorrow around 2.15 in the afternoon. This is tomorrow evening around 5 p.m. for the evening rush hour along the shoreline. And it just kind of continues into, th into Tuesday night and possibly into uh, Wednesday, Wednesday morning. morning yeah. So we're going to keep you posted. All right, in the meantime, come with me. Okay. Uh, daytime highs today, beautiful weather. We're talking about temperatures in the mid-80s, mostly sunny and warm. Sun, was up, sun is up at 5.55 in just a couple of minutes. And then your uh, seven-day forecast Include some uh, rotten weather tomorrow, 78 degrees. It'll be cooler due to the fact that we're expecting that rain and we're expecting those storms. 77 tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, chance for some morning showers giving way to partial clearing. Thursday looks good. Friday, a chance for a late day shower or thunderstorm. And then the weekend, the upcoming weekend looks good. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. We're talking about temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. So that's good news for the upcoming weekend. It's going to be warmer than normal, but at least it's going to be dry and another great weekend here in Connecticut. It's tomorrow. That's the fly in the ointment. Uh, Mark's going to come in and determine whether or not we're going to go into an early warning weather alert. Uh, that'll be taking place a little bit later on this afternoon, so we'll keep you posted. But in the meantime, get out All there right. and enjoy today. It looks lovely.